Here with UFC strawweight Claudia Gadel, who you just defeated Randa Marcos at UFC 239 in Las Vegas and gave her mother, I, I believe, a really great birthday present because I think all moms, they probably get a little nervous, right? And so you get a win, you get out of there unhurt. That's probably the best thing you can do for her, right? Yes, I was just talking to her. You know, my mother, she never goes to sleep before she talks to me before a fight, after a fight, you know? So I, I called her and she was crying, shaking. I was like, Mom, you're fine, you know? But she was happy with the gift. I really like got that inspiration because I wanted to get give her that that gift tonight and and really it really happened. And she she's down in Brazil, yeah. Yes, yeah, she's down in Brazil, all the way to the northeast. You know, very far from where I am. But I try to talk to her every day. You know, I have a great relationship with my mother. I love her, and I I keep doing this for my family. You know, because I want to give my family a good life and. I just, you know, it's it's it makes me pr proud and and makes me happy to be able to give it back to them. So, what time of the night is it there for her to be watching this? So it's four hours. So uh, it might be like one in the morning right now in Brazil. Something. Does she like to watch it by herself, or does she need like a whole support system around? She don't watch me. She never watched she me. Watch. No, she doesn't watch. She she just waits for me to call and, and tell her what happened. <laughs> so she literally, she honestly has never seen you fight a single time. No, never. She she can't. You know, uh, she, she my mom um, came from a very traditional family. You know, um, it's hard for her to watch because uh, for her women shouldn't be playing sports, you know. Mm. And when I started doing this, it was very hard for her. Today, she accepts it. She accepts me, and she accepts what I do, but it's so hard for her to watch. And I understand her, you know. The most important thing is the education she gave me, you know, all the good manners and all the respect she gave me. You know, I take that for life, and I'm very thankful for everything she's done for me. Have you ever gotten close to talking her into it? Maybe a UFC title fight? You've had two of them. You're, you're like, Mom, come on, title fight? You got to be there. Were you close? You no, know, I, I just, like, I don't even want her with me because I know she's going to be nervous and she might get me nervous too. You know, I don't want to be, like, calming my mom down for that. But, uh, and like I said, you know, like, she's very, very traditional. And my mom is 74 years old today, you know. She had me in, in, in an older age, you know, she was 42 when she had me, so she's, she's older now, and I, I want her to have peace. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, we'll get to the fight, of course, but uh, my cameraman, he's a big, big fan of ink, and so I have to ask you, apparently you, uh, you've had some work done by a pretty well-known tattoo artist, is that right? Yeah, Nico Hurtado is like, considered the best tattoo artist today, and you know, um, I wanted to get something nice from him. You know, I was gonna do my mother's face in my arm, but uh, I decided to get a, like um, a Indian, native Indian, because we are native Indian. You know, um, that's where my family came from. So I have a, a native Indian with birds protecting her, and this is the symbol of my family right here. Mm. How many times do you look at that a day in the mirror? You stare at it quite a bit? I do. I, I catch myself like looking at it all the time. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And as you said, it's not done yet, right? You still need to, to get, put some more details or color, or what, it was, what do you still got to do? Yeah, we still have to add a lot of details on it. You know, like the open space, too. We're going we're gonna to go all around here. And a lot of details in the hair face and in the birds. This is gonna look way, way more beautiful than what it is right now. Well, it's amazing. It's not just a tattoo. I mean, it's a work of art. It's a mural, I believe. Are you gonna be, by the time it's all said and done, are you gonna have like the whole body tatted up? Or are you getting close, close no, to? No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. I have half of my back. You know, I have a couple little ones and my, my whole arm. I'm pretty much done. I think that's it for me. Okay. Well, let's talk about what we're actually here to talk about, and that is the fight that you just defeated, Random Marcos. Um, the crowd wasn't too happy with it, but I want to ask you, were you happy with it? How did you feel like you fought tonight? I was very happy with it. I feel like um, my face was... I, 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 I wasn't happy with my last performances, you know, and I wasn't happy with my training, I wasn't happy with my camps, and I had to change a lot of things in my life, you know, so I got a new manager, Ali is my manager now, and we sat down and we organized what we were going to do next, you know, so I drove across the country, I drove 36 hours with my dog to train with people that really care about me and really want to put on the time on Claudia to becoming a better fighter, you know, and that's what I showed tonight, nobody ever saw me 
striking for three rounds, you know, and I didn't, I didn't even try to take Randa down because I know she, I know she's a good, good grappler and she's tough, you know. So the strategy was to keep standing, you know, and if you look at the technique and the details, there's a lot of new two, tools in my toolbox, and and I felt like I got a lot better. And like I said, I was really good. I was taken care of, you know. I had people really putting the time on me to become a better fighter. So after your last loss, which, um, correct me if I'm mistaken, it was Nina Ansarov, right? Yes. Did you know immediately, like before you even left the cage, like, hey, I got to make some changes, or was that something that you determined kind of as, as time went on? I knew before that I wasn't happy with what, what was going on in, in my training and in my camps. You know, when I fought Nina, I didn't even know what to do. There was no game plan. I just went there and fought, you know, and MMA has, you know, it's changing. The game is evolving. Like trainers, coaches, fighters, everybody has to evolve with the game. And I felt like that wasn't happening to me. Like I said, I've been fighting for over 10 years. I'm a pioneer in the sport. You know, I, I, I was fighting since women was not in the UFC. Man. Like I'm talking about me being a straw weight fighting bantam weights. You know, like there was no opponents. It was so hard to get a fight, you know, and but I worked so hard to make it here today, you know, so um, I felt like I was a brawler, like a fighter that would just get in the octagon and fight, you know, for 15 minutes, go for it, you know, to transition to the new evolution of the game, to the new game. And I became smarter, you know, I'm playing the game and that's what I did tonight, played safe, you know, didn't get there crazy like I used to. And I'm smarter, but that doesn't mean I, I don't have you know, all the jiu-jitsu, all the grappling, all the wrestling in there. I have everything in there. I just strike tonight. What is that like coming to that realization of, you know, like I mentioned before, you fought for a championship twice. I mean, it's not like you've struggled. I know that like you've had sort of ups and downs in your recent fights, but to, to change everything, to get in your car with your dog and drive for 36 hours, what are you thinking about during that? And are you confident you're making the right decision or do you not know? What, how, what does that feel like? It, this is the whole thing, like people don't realize. I trained from 18 years old to 28 years old in Novo União in Brazil. Then I left and I had to leave to come to America, you know, because like all thoughts wasn't working. We were, we were not working like in the same page. We were not in the same page. So I said, I'm just gonna go to America and try to find a gym that, you know, will give me the work. Then I went all over the place trying to find a gym that would like give me what I needed, you know, but I just, couldn't find people that would give me attention you know I had Chris Luttrell in my corner for like almost two years and he changed my mind you know and my mindset and he helped me with a lot of things but I needed more I needed like people to really put the time on me and concentrate in my in my career and when I sat down with Ali he said, Mark Henry and Ricardo Almeida are the guys to do that. You know, like you have all the talent, you have all the tools, you need people to really change your mindset and the way you fight. And I was like, that's it, man, that's what I'm doing. I got my car, put my dog inside the car and went straight. I made it in two and a half days, you know, and um, I went there before, I flew there for two weeks and I was like, that. That's what I need, you know. Then when I, went, I came back to Vegas, I got my car and I, I drove 36 hours and I made all the way to New Jersey and I spent eight great weeks there, you know. Like even if I lost tonight, I would be happy with what I had in camp and with the evolution and with that new Claudia, you know. Knowing what you know now and, and just the confidence that you have and what you're learning and the improvements that you're making to your game, are you in a rush to get back to the title? Are you saying, you know what, the first two times I was at title fight, I didn't have what I have now, so so now I got I got to get there. I want to get there quickly. Or are you willing to take your time? Um, I, I was a little bit surprised this week because I I wanted to beat Ronda and call out call out Joanna because I really think it's one and one. You know, I I beat her the first time. Then we spent eight weeks together in the Ultimate Fighter, and I don't like her as a person. I beat her for three rounds, in two and a half rounds in your second fight, and then she beat me for two and a half rounds. And I feel like we really need to do it again, you know? So I was gonna call her out, but then I got surprised with, uh, the, uh, now that she's fighting Michelle Watterson. So 
Um, let's them let them fight and let's see what's gonna happen. I really want to get back in there with Joanna. You know, if it doesn't happen, uh, I'll be ready to fight very very soon. Well, whatever's next, we're excited for it. It's happy to see that. It's it's good to see that you're so happy with the performance. And I know I spoke to Mark Henry; he was thrilled with it as well. So excited to see what's what the future holds for you, Claudia. Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+.